everyone, today I've got your Expendables 3 movie review. I just had the time of my life watching a triple feature of all the Expendables movies and this was all leading up to what I think is one of the best of the bunch, The Expendables 3. The Expendables, led by Barney, played by Sylvester Stallone, aka Rambo, leads a mission to rescue a former Expendable named Duck Death, played by Wesley Snipes, aka Blade. Rescue him from a guarded military convoy. Down the road, they've got to deal with even bigger fish in the sea, uh, which includes Mel Gibson. Why do I think this movie is the best? Well, it is because it just far exceeds everything that was in the two previous Expendables movies. It had more action and it definitely touched upon a lot of more personal aspects of it, especially with the characters, all of the issues that they were going through. It was more of their story, except I felt like it talked more about some of the more main characters than it did on all of them. So I wouldn't necessarily say there was a lot of character development in this movie because they definitely had a lot to live up for and they had twice as many characters than I think in the other Expendables movies. I really did enjoy the fact that the Expendables, I mean, they really felt like a band of brothers. Whenever a team member, one of whom does get injured in it, I won't tell you who, they all just stick together until the end, trying to take out this one bad guy and all of his minions, and just trying to save the day. Everything just fell into play from there. However, obviously, returning members like Jason Statham, Jet Li, uh, Dolph Lundgren, Randy Couture, Terry Crews, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, along with Sylvester Stallone. You know, it just, it gets pretty crazy, especially when you add into the mix. You've got uh, some newcomers like Kellen Lutz, Ronda Rousey, Antonio Banderas, who, by the way, was actually really crazy, so I don't really know if I really liked him as much in this movie but he was just okay. And of course, Kelsey Grammer, who I was really looking forward to seeing, um, as well as Harrison Ford. I really liked the relationship between all the guys, and I felt like, you know, it got way more serious this time around. The stakes were definitely raised. You've got uh, Sly's plan trying to bring in some young blood up into this whole group. Obviously, you'd think it was a good idea. Maybe they should just be known as the Expandables because they could be expanding more than just their waistline, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, I thought the movie was quite entertaining. I really liked how they had more badassness coming from all of these stars, so it wasn't just all these crazy, cheesy one-liners that was in The Expendables 2, because certain actors did, you know, have an upbringing for some of their previous action movies that they have done, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. The first encounter standoff between the older Expendables with the newer recruits, they were like, okay, let's teach these kids um, a thing or two about who we are, what we, you know, grew up learning, and how to be this clan, and now we have to bring in these guys and, you know, show them the ropes. They do try to be this one big family taking out the bad guys. As far as the bad guys go, obviously Mel Gibson does a good job. Um, so I wasn't expecting much, or at least I didn't have any like high expectations for his character. I knew that he was definitely gonna bring it to this role. And um, I definitely took him very seriously in this movie because he was really intimidating, um, except seeing him up against Sylvester Stallone, I'm just like, Barney, get out of there. Just kick his ass. If I had to rank uh, Mount Gibson with the previous uh, Expendables movie villains like Jean-Claude Van Damme or Eric Roberts, I'd say he's definitely on top. I really did like this movie. I kind of wish it was a little bit shorter. On the downside, it was rated PG-13 as compared to the other movies, which I found surprising because I didn't think that the other movies felt like they needed an R rating. If y'all like that kind of thing, you want something that you can just enjoy and not just have it open for everyone, just like anyone to watch it. I definitely felt like there could have been more added to it. I know a lot of people, I really feel like 
if I go see The Raid 2, which I have heard good things about, I hope it's like nothing like this and I hope it's actually better than this. I didn't find it to be a huge problem, but I just felt like they really um, took a lot of what was in the previous Expendables movies out of this movie just to appeal to a wider audience. I do love action movies, so I got the gloves, I'm ready to go. I actually did like Ronda Rousey in this movie. I really do appreciate that they included some female characters to the crew. I know they only first started doing that trend in the last movie with that one agent chick. I think it's kind of cool, but I kind of wish they'd left that out for a possible Expendables movie, which I heard was still being made or possibly in production, but I did like her in that red dress and heels and, you know, kicking some guys' asses, so I mean, I liked her. Never in my life did I see myself actually getting into these movies. I thought I wasn't even going to enjoy it, but I did, um, even though some parts in the middle I just found to be a little bit boring, so I was like, when is this gonna end? And I also do find it a little bit ironic that I avoided these movies like The Plague. It took me until just this year, just yesterday alone, just to start watching these Expendables movies. Now I'm wondering because each movie took two years to come out, so I'm wondering if in two years from now they're gonna make an Expendables 4. Overall, I thought the movie was pretty damn fantastic. I love the action. I love the violence. I wish there was a little bit more. I also wish that there was more character development with some of the other lovable characters in this movie, especially played by some pretty decent action star actors. I would recommend checking this out if you guys have seen the previous Expendables movie. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of The Expendables 3. Is this the best of the bunch? What was your favorite moment in this movie? And who is also your favorite character? As always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys later.